a 10 foot ladder leans against a smooth wall. So here is the floor, here is our wall. This wall is smooth and our ladder is 10 foot long. So L is equal to 10 foot and it leans against that wall. The inclination is 60 degrees with respect to the ground. So right here, this angle theta is 60 degrees. The coefficient of static friction with the ground, mu sub s with the ground is 0 0.4. Okay. The weight of the ladder is negligible. We have a 180 pound man climbs the ladder. How far from the ladder base, which is the contact with the ground toward the wall, to, is the man's center of gravity when the ladder starts to slip? So if the man gets right here, and is on the very bottom rung, the ladder's not likely to slip. But as the man goes further and further and further out, your experience may be, and it would be right, that it's getting closer to the possibility of slipping. And so what are they asking us to solve for? They're asking us to solve for that distance, let's call it x, at which the ladder would be at the point of slipping. That's the location of the man on the ladder. Okay, what would be the maximum value? X needs to be less than or equal to when the man's at the wall, isn't he? All the way at the very top of the ladder. What would be that maximum? Just looking at, we have a hypotenuse of a 10 foot. We have an angle of 60 degrees. That would be 10 foot times cos of 60 degrees, cosine of 60, right? That makes sense? So we know our answer needs to be between zero and that maximum, okay. Or the ladder won't slip even if the man's at the very top. Okay, so we do a free body diagram of the ladder. Okay, if you do a free body diagram of the ladder, I need to pause and let you do it. And this is where you can make an error, right? So you want to get everything on that ladder. The key word is up here. Don't forget that word, smooth wall. Is there any friction between the top of the ladder and the wall? No. Okay. And we have to have the weight of the man on the ladder. Okay. So you give me the free body diagram for this ladder. So let's pick it up here. A lot of people said, well, I have the, the weight of the man and solving for the location X where the man is on the ladder. Okay. And then I have the, the, the normal force with the ground. Okay. And I know that that ladder bottom is going to be kicked out, moving away from the wall when it starts to slip. Hence, the direction of the frictional force is going to resist that slipping. And so this is the direction. Now, some people actually put this as the direction of the slipping. If you put that as the direction of slipping, what you're saying is, is it's going to slip toward the wall. It's not going to slip toward the wall. It's going to slip away from the wall. So this is a little bit of thought process to get that right. And this problem is not hard, but when we get to other problems, It'll make you think a little bit. What is the direction of F? Okay. Then we have to come up here, and we have something happening at this wall. And remember, when you cut through a free body diagram, you're cutting right through that intersection, and that you're cutting it free from the surroundings, and the wall is the surrounding. Well, it's smooth. Okay. So should it be like this? perpendicular to the slope of the ladder, or should it be like this, which is perpendicular to the smooth surface of the wall? The ladder, that's right, the second one. Now that brings up an interesting point. If the wall is like this, will it change the direction of that normal? Yeah, it will. Yeah, it definitely will. So it's always... Go back and look at that contact when you have a smooth surface. You just have the normal force that's perpendicular to that smooth surface. 
All right. So because this one is a normal, we would say NW or some other to distinguish it between the normal at the ground. So this is our weight, our frictional force, NG, NW. Does it look good or did I miss anything? All right. Okay. Uh, I didn't put in my angle of 60 degrees nor my length of 10 foot, but you could put those in there. Let's now proceed. How far from the ladder's base toward the wall is the man's center of gravity when the ladder starts to slip? At the point of slipping, what is this F? At the point of slip. Okay. So, so this weight is 180 pounds. If I do for equilibrium the sum of the forces in the y equal to zero, that allows me to calculate n sub g at this, which is 180 pounds. True. Okay. Now what we do is we say the sum of the forces in the x equal to zero. That allows me to say that the normal at the wall is equal to the frictional at the bottom of the surface with the ground. Uh, of the ladder, and we just said at the point of slipping, that is F of S, which is mu sub S times N sub G. Is that true? A couple steps in there. And then what we do is you do the sum of the moments about any point, you can do it about this point right here, is equal to, let's put it zero, let's call that point O, the point where it's going to slip is equal to zero, and so then we have the weight times that moment arm distance x and that normal at the wall times that height. That height is um, 10 times the sine of 60 degrees. 10 foot times the sine of 60 gives us our height. And so x is equal to um, the, um, what did I write right here? The weight. Okay, so that's equal to the normal at the wall. The normal at the wall is mu sub s, n sub g, but n sub g was w. Maybe I should leave symbols for a little bit longer. w, I have w. They're both going to cancel out of this equation. The w's cancel. And uh, this is the length of the ladder and the sine of that angle, 60 degrees. Hence, x becomes the coefficient of static friction, 0.4 times 10 times the sine of 60 degrees, 3.46. Yeah, very good, 3.46. Oh, you were telling me the answer to something else? Yeah, I was just saying the use of s. Okay, there you go. But did everybody follow that? <clears throat> Look good? All right, we have time. We have seven minutes. I think we can do the next problem.